All right, the time has come to start communicating. Let's, uh, let's, let's read the network, because that's, that's where all the good stuff is these days. So uh, for this flip classroom um, exercise, we're gonna be building a trivia game. Super fun. So here's, here's the trivia game, and if you, if you pull down, you, you, get, you get new questions. So chickens can live without a head, I think that's true. Oh, I was right. Um, the gimpy stinger is the deadliest plant in the world. I have no idea. No, I was wrong. And the planet Mars has two moons, yeah. Uh, Demos and Phoebe? Anyway, I learned that from uh, The Expanse. <laughs> and not too well, because I can't remember the names. Okay, so blah, 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 you know, true, false, you know, it tells you whether you got it right, and then pull to refresh. Okay, so, you know, not, not super thrilling, but uh, not too bad. And uh, uh, they're all sort of true, false, science and nature questions. So uh, that should be enough to get you started. Um, you know, there's uh, a fair amount in the handout. But I wanted uh, to... Uh, do was to give you some sense of where this is coming from. So part of what makes this unique and interesting um, exercise is that all that data is being fetched over the network. And where did it come from? It came from this website called the Open Trivia Database, which I just found looking for, you know, f free stuff on the internet, um, which I encourage you to do for your project. And uh, the people who are running this I, are really sort of, I think, committed to this idea of you know, open access and teaching people how to, how to use uh, the network. And so if we go up here, we can click on API, and there's a bunch of API documentation, which is super cool, that tells you things about um, how to deal with the um, uh, website. So I guess I, just, I should say this. Most websites we interact with using a browser. Fine, makes sense, we all know what a browser is, we know how to click things, we know what a browser can do, and that's great. But when you're writing a, an app, you want to interact with a website using an API. So it's not quite a browser, uh, but it does interact using URLs and these requests. Most, most of them are good, get put requests. So fairly simple requests. So this trivia API, there's, there's a bunch of documentation you could look at. But here, this API helper is, is really, it's, it's really neat. So number of questions, we want three questions. Uh, we're going to select a category, and I, I selected, I think, science and nature. You know, we could do science, science computers. Select difficulty, I think I selected medium difficulty. Uh, type, and we want some multiple choice. We want true, false. And default encoding, um, base64 is nasty. Um, I can't even remember what encoding I... Let's do default encoding. And generate an API URL, and then look at look at what this generated. Very cool. So um, you know, it's an HTTPS, so it's it's a, an authenticated website, so we know who we're talking to. It's this open trivia database .com. and then this is all also uh, frequently seen in these API URLs. There's some sort of script being run on the server, and this is a PHP script. And then we are passing, uh, this question mark means we're passing parameters. And the first parameter is called amount. And the value of that parameter is three. And then this ampersand, um, the ampersand uh, separates parameters. So the next parameter is category. Category is 17. So, you know, science and whatever, science and nature is category 17. Um, and you can see, you know, there's sort of the, there's the um, sort of user interface, and this is sort of one level behind that, um, where we're getting into like things like they have a numeric code for the category, which makes perfect sense when you're actually storing it uh, on a computer. Uh, but that's not, you know, you don't tell people like, do you want category 17? You say, do you want science and nature? And then, hey, the mapping is that's category 17. Difficulty equals medium. Here, the mapping is pretty straightforward. Um, and type equals Boolean. So what's, what's cool about this is if we take this, take this uh, URL and we put it in our browser, we should get something. And in fact, what we get is JSON and you know, we're gonna talk about JSON. But 
this is what this is how we uh, talk to web services um, in our apps. We set up these URLs, we send them out, and we get back the this response, this encoded response in JSON. We have to parse the JSON, figure out what's going on, and then display it to the user in a, in a meaningful way. And we're going to be doing this for this flipped classroom, and we're going to be doing it for our Reddit client, which is coming up in homework, and um, you know, a lot of applications, I don't know, a lot of applications that communicate over the network end up uh, doing this, this type of activity, um, requests from a particular URL, parsing the JSON response. So it's a, it's a world unto itself that we are now entering. Thanks.